Hey guys, welcome back to Candy Beauty and welcome back to another new release video where we discuss all the new releases, whether we're gonna purchase, whether we're gonna pass, uh, what our thoughts are, what you guys' thoughts are at home. You guys play a huge part and help me decide what to get, what not to get. And I just like to hear from you guys and know what your thoughts are. And even, you know, some things that are not mentioned, maybe some releases you guys have been hearing about leave it down below i love to hear from everybody um let's see what else what is on my face today i am wearing the uh s clean foundation and i really the sephora s clean foundation i've been really liking that i'm also wearing the giorgio armani power fabric concealer uh this was really hyped last year i think in the year before i I think I'm liking it. I don't really know how I feel about it yet. I'm still trying it out, but so far, so good. I'm also wearing the uh, NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Chantilly. And what else? I have the Diorific Dazzling Beige Lipstick uh, from their Holiday Collection on. I'm also wearing my Lisa, Lisa Elbridge Gloss and Brace and Muse. Uh, fabulous gloss formula. I love it. What else am I wearing? I'm also wearing the By Terry Rose de Balm lip balm. And I also have the About Face. Uh, I'm not wearing blush today, but I have the About Face Sunstruck Highlight Lock Fluid, Light Lock Fluid as a, sort of a blush and a bronzer at the same time. I'm loving that in the shade Sunstruck. I'm also wearing the Shaken or Stirred shade in the About Face Highlight Lock, Light Lock Fluid. Um, and that's really pretty too and I coated that um, I also put some my ambient hourglass uh, lighting palette on and I'm also wearing the ambient uh, bronzer golden bronze light hourglass shade as well on my eyes I have some Danessa Myrick's twin flames I also have the uh, Pat McGrath interstellar icon Quad. and I think that's it so let's get into our new releases okay so first up we have the new sunset blush which is by the Vive Muse Beauty I'm not sure if it's Vive it's the the brand by Genevieve and Jamie Genevieve and she is also here on the platform YouTube and actually I have to say these blushes look beautiful it says coming soon on the Vive Beauty site and then also Cult Beauty. I don't have a release date or a price, but these blushes are definitely speaking to me. Not that I need more blushes. I really don't need more blushes, but especially that brown one and the peach. Oh, I might have to get these, you guys. I might have to get them. Next up, we have the Urban Decay Naked Wild West Palette. What do you guys think about this? I just, I don't know. Like I am such an Urban Decay like fan. I root for them. Like I'm secretly hoping that they have a better year this year. I feel like they ended it strong with the Stone Vibes palette. I was a huge fan of that palette. This however, I feel like is a little bit <sighs> blase. Like I don't know how I feel about it. There's really just one pop of color which is that beautiful blue which I do like that beautiful blue but I feel like the rest of the colors in this palette I don't need three like transition shades there in the top like those are all very similar you have a couple of uh, browns that are very similar and then you've got a dark teal and then you've got a gold silver shimmer and then you've got that bright blue shade so I don't know I might end up getting it just because I do like reviewing Urban Decay. I feel like a lot of people, you know, sort of look for those sort of reviews, but I'm kind of on the fence because it's not really anything innovative in my opinion. It's not anything like wild and crazy and like siren calling, like Carly would say, a siren calling. Like I don't feel that way, but at the same time, I'm, I feel like I might have a little bit of FOMO if I don't get it. So I'm on the fence. And I would like to know what you guys' thoughts are. Like, let me know what you think because I'm torn on this one. Okay. Moving on. We have a new 
collection by ColourPop. What is new? I mean, I feel like there's been six <laughs> even since last week when I posted this video. This is called, what is this called? Make It Black. It does not have a name for the whole collection. Um, this actually already released. I did pick it up because I thought it was for a good cause. I think that there's been some issues with ColourPop releasing things as of really recently from what I've heard. I don't know for sure, but you know, I think it's good that, that they're bringing in some deeper shades, a different type of collection from them. However, that being said, I kind of feel like it's very like, like you can release a collection that's made for tan and deep and darker skin tones without making it so just like in your face like make it black like I don't know I feel like the name I just feel like they could have done more like I feel like this is just them um, slapping a band-aid on something and, and saying like here it is in your face you know I don't I, like I said I wanted to support the collection I think some of the lippies and the eyeliners are unique but I feel like they just could have done so much more and I kind of feel like I could be wrong but I just kind of feel like okay you know make something that's that's really pretty that also works good on deep skin tones because you know I feel like although it's a smaller palette and I do like the colors I just again I feel like I they could have done more I think it's a step in the right direction for them but I don't know I guess I guess we'll just leave it at that all right let's see there is a new cafe collection for spring 2021 coming out from Marc Jacobs. This looks beautiful. I I love the packaging. I love that sort of marble packaging. You know, is it anything like crazy? No. It looks like there is um, an extra shot of caffeine concealer and foundation, a highlighter, matte gel eye crayon. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I feel like the face palette could have been done better and it's something very generic that we've already seen. I might want to try out that foundation concealer if it's with the caffeine. That could be really neat. So I might want to try that out. And yeah, I probably will pick up a few things from this. I don't have a release date. There's no prices. I'm assuming it's coming soon though. All right, next up we have, oh, ooh, this looks so pretty. This is a new palette from Menagerie Cosmetics called Flight Club. It's launching February 26th at 12 p.m. PST for $38.95. Yes. All I can say is yes, 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 please. I will definitely be getting this as long as it doesn't sell out. As long as I'm able to, I will definitely be picking this up. It looks beautiful. I am a huge purple pink fan, so for me, this is just like, yes, please. <laughs> Let me know, though what you guys think like are you loving the palette is it the same it kind of reminds me of the Viseart Entendu Violet palette a little bit so maybe I'll just get this one instead of the Viseart one because I've been wanting to get the Viseart one for a while I don't know I do love Viseart's formula though I don't know it's so hard to say and then Ofra Cosmetics came out with like a blush and bronzer duo sort of kit you can get the PR kit unless it's sold out for $99 and then you can also buy the blush and bronzer duos for $29 and then they also have liquid blushes which are $15 so excited about liquid blushes I believe this is their first time doing them I could be wrong about that um, and then there's like duos that are available for $35 you can use the code Amy loves for some money off um, at any makeup spotlight and yeah this looks beautiful and again like if I needed <sighs> blush and bronzers this is the type of thing I might get after the fact if it's still available we'll see we'll see what do you guys think I just I'm such a sucker for a good bronzer and a good blush and I love those peach bronzers and those or those peach blushes and those warm sort of bronzer Ugh. I love these two this and the Vive Beauty I'm like oh my gosh <sighs> even though they're almost the same exact shades <laughs> no I think the Vive Beauty ones are a little bit different but and Ofra is such a good quality formula too I don't know hey, do you guys like Ofra let me know down in the comments below if you tried anything from their brand 
Uh, I love the, their products. I love their lippies. I love their highlight. I haven't done any reviews on them recently, so maybe we'll have to revisit that. Like I said, I'm not going to get this right away, but it might be something I pick up down the road just to add to my collection because they really do look beautiful. Okay, next up we have a new Valentine's Day capsule or mystery boxes. I'm confused. What is this? Jacqueline Hall Cosmetics released, I guess, mystery boxes or a vault with some new Lippies Lip Lock Set, $25, a Light of My Life Set, $45. A self-love starter kit for $35 and for the love of makeup set $65 I was all set to get this and then something came up and then I went on about I don't know 20 minutes later 10 minutes later and it was sold out this released on February 5th so unfortunately I was not able to get it now if I know somebody that has it then I might be able to do uh, which is really stinky because I really wanted to do a review on this because she hasn't released anything in a while let me ask you guys though first, what are your thoughts on Jaclyn Hill and Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics? Because maybe it's good that it's sold out. Me personally, like I don't judge makeup by, you know, makeup by like what happened with the creators. Like obviously there has been a lot of controversy about Jaclyn Hill. So what do you guys think? Does this look like something that you would be excited about? Or are you just kind of like done with Jaclyn Hill like a lot of people? Definitely let me know down in the comments below. But I personally would have probably gotten this just because like I said it's a new launch from her brand and she hasn't released anything in a really long time. And I did want to try out the lip products but I believe she'll be coming out with more so and I don't even know if this is technically a new launch or some of her other products she already came out with. You guys will have to let me know. Okay, and then ColourPop did come out with a Valentine's Day collection, which I was totally blindsided with because if I had known, I definitely would have gotten it, but again, I've been really busy, and when I saw the notification that it released, it was already sold out, which really stinks because I really like that um, Super Shock, what is it? I think it's like a Super Shock, a Soul Body Face and Body Highlighter and Pink Truffle, it kind of looks like a super shock formula I love that sort of shade the blushes are probably a little bit light for me but the the middle one that sort of terracotta dark deep apricot shade would have been perfect I do like the little mini palettes I like that there's only three I get it these are shades that we all have but I just I think it's so cute I'm kind of bummed I really wanted to, to do like a Valentine's collection for you guys um, usually Wet n Wild has one, Elf has one. I think Wet n Wild does have one, but it looks really lame, like, no. <laughs> the Wet n Wild one does not look like it's worth purchasing, but they've had some good ones in past years. But yeah, I really wanted to get this and it's sold out. Like I said, if I find it somewhere else, if somebody I know has it and they're not going to use it, then maybe I'll be able to pick it up after the fact. Let's see, what else? Um, Milk came out with some color chalks. I don't know. I'm not really digging them. I'm not. They're pretty, but when you look at the swatches, again, it's shades. I feel like it's just something else they're trying to, which I really like Milk Makeup. Oh, that was another thing. I have my face is the Hydra Set um, Grip Set Spray. I've been wearing that. And I really like it. I do like Milk Makeup as a brand, but these, I just feel like they're like one of those kind of gimmicky sort of things like I don't know I'm not big into liquid and cream eyeshadows anyways I never really have been I have problems even with regular shadows creasing my eyes like all the time so I think I have a creasing problem right now actually too so you know I'm, I'm not gonna pick these up they probably are really good but it's just it's not worth it Okay, and it looks like KKW Beauty. Oh, there's my girl Karen. Hey, Karen. <laughs> I always see Karen liking stuff that I like. It's so funny. Um, KKW Beauty is coming out with two new collections. The Matte Mauve Collection and the Matte Honey Collection. And they retail for $160 each. You can get both collections for $320. 
holy these are expensive here's the thing I'm sucker for KKW and Kylie cosmetics but I feel like a lot of times when I get their stuff I'm just so disappointed at least recently that honey collection though is so stinking cute it looks so cute and I know when I get it it's not gonna look like this there's not gonna be the little bee on the lipsticks and everything else in the mauve collection with the flowers like these pictures that make these collections look so much cuter if you took away the flowers and the honey jar you know they would just look like plain old Jane plain Jane palettes nothing exciting that honey collection though I think what's calling to me and the honey collection is the lipsticks and there's also lip liners the blushes are very light very very light in the honey collection she should have done like a deeper blush in my opinion because she's not that fair skinned she's kind of medium skin tone um yeah I don't know I'm torn on this I haven't done a KKW Beauty review though in a while so what do you guys think like do you like this would you want to see this let me know because I'm kind of looking for an excuse to get it but I don't want to waste my money so just let me know if you guys are interested let me know if you're not interested let me know either way because that will definitely help me in deciding whether to get this we have a couple days before it launches so yes I need to know what your thoughts are okay let's see I think we're coming to the end here I believe alien cosmetics is coming out with a new palette uh, where is that hold on a second okay yes alien cosmetics is coming out with a new Capricorn shadow palette this looks stunning 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 this is uh, pre-orders open on 212 at 10 a.m. EST is there a price I don't see a price but usually they are really reasonably priced um, and the quality is good and I really want that palette I really want it it's colorful it's not neutral that's a change because I feel like all these uh, collections are coming out with neutral palettes so and then we did ha also have a release by Olden's Eye which you know something about Odin's eye like I always like really want to get it at first and then when I look at it I'm just kind of like like hmm do I really need this and then something it's like always like I'm excited at first about Odin's eye and then once I look at it like harder and I spend a few minutes looking at it I'm just like hmm I don't know I don't know what it is I'm always really tempted and then I always decide to sort of pass what do you guys think about Odin's eye or what do you guys think about this palette and collection I don't know I think if I got anything it would be the smaller palette and then some of those highlighters look really good too I don't know I kind of really want to try the brand too they're kind of like on my list of things I want to try uh, I'm sure um, a bunch of people have gotten this in PR and already done reviews on it too so I think I'm just gonna pass I'm gonna stick to my decision and pass for now but this is a brand that always like tempts me and then I always end up passing and I feel like one of these times one of these times I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna <laughs> add to car and be done okay and then Terra Moon Cosmetics they also released uh, 17 new shades I think six were regular or they may have been duochrome shadows and then there were 11 new cosmic chameleon colors I personally absolutely love their formula I have some other cosmic chameleons already that I got from the Black Friday sale that I still need to show you guys those um, so I think that as long as things are still in stock I have to look at the site cuz like Davina Terra Moon Cleona they sell out really fast they're some of the more popular indie brands for like multi-chromes and duochrome shades I'd have to say for like the multi-chromes like Alien Cosmetics some of those other brands are really popular too but I'd have to say for like the multi-chromes Cleona Diva, Divina and um, Terra Moon are like the hot like what everybody wants right now 
and that I'm sure will change. There's a lot of other great brands that do with them great as well, but I'm just telling you like what people are really like drawn to. So anyway, as long as they are not sold out, I will probably hopefully pick some of these up. All right, you guys, well, that is it. I need to know your comments below. Definitely let me know what you guys' thoughts are, you know, on all of these new releases. And if there isn't something I mentioned, definitely leave it down below because I like to learn from you guys too. Like, there's been a ton of times where this is why these videos are so good because, like, you guys will let me know about stuff too. And I'll be like, oh, let me go check that brand out. I haven't heard of them. Or let me go check that release out. Like, I didn't even know that that was what was going on. So I feel like I help you guys and let you know about new stuff. And then also you guys reciprocate right back and let me know about stuff that I didn't, I didn't even know about. So anyway, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.